to my channel. In case you haven't noticed the weather that's been going on in Texas, we recently just got hit with Hurricane Harvey and a lot of the cities have gotten flooded because of all of the rain. So I've pretty much been cooped up in the house for the past three days. We haven't been able to leave the house because of all of the streets that are flooded. I kind of just needed to do something to keep myself preoccupied because I am going crazy of like literally being in the house for three days straight. So I figured I would do a bookshelf tour. We finally gotten settled into our new house and I'm starting to finally get like my office arranged the way I want it to and I've got my, I think I've got my shelves to where like how I want them. I pretty much have every single book that I own on my shelves right now except for two. I did one last year around this time and over the past year I've definitely accumulated more books so I thought it would be like the perfect time to just film a bookshelf tour and I'm very sorry if you hear any thundering or if the power goes out because the weather outside is pretty bad. Okay, so I've already mentioned this in my video that I did, like my organizing my new bookshelves that I filmed uh, about a month or so ago, but these two shelves are from Ikea, and this shelf here in the middle is from Target. I love these bookshelves. I feel like Ikea just did such a great job. They're really sturdy. I love the color, and I think I'm gonna get some more of them. But we'll go ahead and start with this bookshelf. We'll go down, and then we'll go on to this bookshelf shelf. Okay, so starting with this shelf over here, I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. This is the illustrated edition. And I also have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, also the illustrated edition. I also have a wand case that I got from Universal Studios, and this is from Ollivanders. And I also went and took out the map of Universal Studios. Diagon Alley is on one side, and then Hogsmeade is on the other side. Side. Going down to the next shelf, this is my other Harry Potter bookshelf. I have these two dragon bookends. They just scream Harry Potter with the dragon on the roof. And then I also have my wand that I got from Universal Studios. As far as the books that I have on this shelf, I have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is book one. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which is book two. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is book three. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is book four. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, which is book five. I'm actually missing the dust jacket for this one. And I also own Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which is book six, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, book seven, but I'm currently lending them out to a friend right now. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two, and this is written by John, Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. This is a screenplay. I also have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook by Dina Buchholz. Okay, so moving on to the next shelf, The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And then next I have The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer, which consists of Twilight, which is book one, New Moon, which is book two, Eclipse, which is book three, and Breaking Dawn, which is book four. I also have the special 10th anniversary edition of Twilight, which consists of the original Twilight and Life and Death, which is Twilight Reimagined. Next, I have the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, which consists of Cinder, which is book one, Scarlet, book two, Cress, book three, and Winter, book four. And last Lastly, I have the Passenger Duology by Alexandra Bracken, which consists of Passenger Book 1 and Wayfair Book 2. Next on my shelf, I have the Shadowhunter novels by Cassandra Clare. Starting with the Infernal Devices, I have Clockwork Angel, which is book one, Clockwork Prince, which is book two, and Clockwork Princess, which is book three. Next, I have the Mortal Instruments series, which consists of City of Bones, book one, City of Ashes, book two, City of Glass, book three, City of Fallen Angels, book four, City of Lost Souls, book five, and City of Heavenly Fire, which is book six. I also have the first two books in the Dark Artifices series, which consists of Lady Midnight, which is book one, and Lord of Shadows, which is book two. Okay, so moving down to my next shelf, I have the Aragon series 
by Christopher Paolini, which consists of Aragon Book 1, Eldest Book 2, Brisinger Book 3, and Inheritance Book 4. The next book I have is Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, and this is a bind up of all three books, which consists of The Fellowship of the Ring Book 1, The Two Towers Book 2, and Return of the King, which is Book 3. I also have The Hobbit, also written by J.R.R. Tolkien. Next, I have my Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan, and this consists of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief book one, The Sea of Monsters book two, The Titan's Curse book three, The Battle of the Labyrinth book four, and the last Olympian, which is book five. I also have the first four books in the Heroes of Olympus series by also by Rick Riordan, and I believe I'm missing the last one, I believe The Blood of Olympus. Book one, The Lost Hero. Book two, The Son of Neptune. Book three, The Mark of Athena. And book four, the House of Hades. And moving to the last shelf on this bookshelf, this is more of my children books and then also books that I'm thinking of unhauling. So starting over here, I have the first 18 books of Junie B. Jones by Barbara Parks. And this consists of Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus, Junie B. Jones and A Little Monkey Business, Junie B. Jones and Her Big Fat Mouth, Junie B. Jones and Some Sneaky Peaky Spying, Junie B. Jones and the Yucky Blucky Fruitcake, Junie B. Jones and That Meanie Jim's Birthday. Then going on to number eight, Junie B. Jones has a monster under her bed. Number 10 is Junie B. Jones is a party animal. Junie B. Jones is a beauty shop guy. Junie B. Jones smells something fishy. Junie B. Jones and the Mushy Gushy Valentine. Junie B. Jones has a peep in her pocket. Junie B. Jones is a graduation girl. And number 18, Junie B. First Grader at Last. Next I have Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn. A Wizard of Earth Sea by Ursula Le Guin. Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, The Twist Rose Key by Tony Almiel. I also have the first book of a Game of Thrones audiobook by George R. R. Martin. I can't seem to really find a good place for it, so right now it's just on this shelf. Next over here are books that I'm thinking of unhauling. The Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I just I'm not really interested in them anymore. I've read the first three and I just can't really seem to get into it. And this series consists of The Beginnings, which is a bind up of the first book, Obsidian, and the second book, Onyx. Then I have the second book, Consequences, which is a bind up of the third book Opal and the fourth book Origin and the third bind up is Opposition which consists of Opposition and a prequel novella Shadows. Next I have Evermore by Alison Noel. This is the first novel in the Immortals series and I didn't like the first one. I'm not going to be con continuing on so I think this is one that I may unhaul. I also have the fifth and sixth book of the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. I'm going to be unhauling these two books just because I'm going to get, I plan on getting a set of all of them. So I don't really see the point in having just these random two. And plus I hate the original cover. And this is the fifth book called Spirit Bound. And the sixth book, which is called The Last Sacrifice. I don't even have the dust jacket. Okay, so moving on to the little shelf that I have in the middle of both of my bookshelves. This one is from Target, as I said. On the first shelf, I keep a Scentsy candle. I have my books I've read, Reader Journal, and then I have a little wicker basket that I keep some office supplies in. Okay, moving to the next shelf, I just have a little um, bucket with some pretty polka dots and pink, which I love, white and gold polka dots and pink. I have my 2017 TBR jar. I have a masquerade mask that I really love. I've got some of my coloring books over here, and then I have a little just like Las Vegas keychain here. As far as the coloring books that I own, I have The Secret... 
The Secret Garden by Joanna Basford, The Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford, and my Harry Potter coloring book. Moving to this shelf over here, it's kind of my little Harry Potter shelf. I have my Ravenclaw scarf that I got from Universal Studios. I also have the lanyard that I got also from Universal Studios. I have these bookmarks that I absolutely love. So these are the bookmarks. I love these bookmarks. I think they're so cool. I also have coasters for all of the houses. Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and Slytherin. And of course I keep it on Ravenclaw because that is my house. Moving to the next shelf, though I don't really have anything too exciting. I just have these two buckets. In this one, I keep just my gel pens and like, um, pencils to color with. This one has cords and my reading light to clip onto my books, which is pretty cool. And then you open this up and it's got a light. I need to charge it. And then on this last shelf, this one's empty. I need to figure out what to put on it. But here in this little bucket, I just have um, like journals, office supplies, and then I have my medical book. Okay, so moving on to the my second bookshelf. On this first shelf, I don't really have any books on there, so I decided just to put some picture frames. I have me and my sister, and then I have me and my husband. And then on the very top up here, I haven't decided, it doesn't fit anywhere. I have the complete audio book of The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. It doesn't fit anywhere on my shelf, so right now I just kind of have it up here on top of my bookshelf. You know what, actually, I think I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it right here. That way you can see it. Okay, so moving on to the next shelf. This is probably my favorite shelf, except for my Harry Potter shelf. This is my Sarah J. Mass collection. I have the Throne of Glass series, which consists of Throne of Glass, which is book one, book two, Crown of Midnight, book three, Air of Fire, book four, Queen of Shadows, and book five, Empire of Storms. This series is not complete yet. Next, I have the A Court of Thorns and Roses trilogy, also by Sarah J. Mass, which consists of book one, A Court of Thorns and Roses, book two, A Court of Mist and Fury, and book three, A Court of Wings and Ruin. I also have the first two books in the Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Book one is Illuminae and book two is Gemina. Moving on to the next shelf, starting from over here, I have the Leviathan series by Scott Westerfeld, which consists of Leviathan book one, Behemoth book two, and Goliath book three. Next, I have the Unbecoming of Meyer Dyer trilogy by Michelle Hodkin, and that consists of The Unbecoming of Myra Dyer Book 1, The Evolution of Myra Dyer Book 2, and The Retribution of Myra Dyer Book 3. Next, I have the Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis, and that consists of Across the Universe Book 1, A Million Suns Book 2, and Shades of Earth Book 3. Next over here, I have the Starbound trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and that consists of These Broken Stars Book 1, This Shattered World Book 2, and Their Fractured Light book three. And lastly over here I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy by Lainey Taylor. First being Daughter of Smoke and Bone, second book being Days of Blood and Starlight, and the last book God, Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Okay so moving down to the next shelf, I don't know if you've noticed but I've kind of done a little bit of rearranging on these last three shelves um, from what I originally showed you at the beginning of my intro. So on this shelf I'm pretty much continuing on with my series except for three exceptions over here. These are three of my favorite books and I really wanted to show them on my shelf when I'm filming. So the first one is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and Fangirl also by Rainbow Rowell. Next I have The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass. The reason I don't have it up on the other shelf with my other Sarah J Mass books is because this is a paperback and it kind of looks funny on that shelf because everything is hardback but also because this is just a collection of novellas it doesn't bother me not having it on that shelf. Okay, so next I have The Raven Cycle Quartet by Maggie Steve Otter, which consists of The Raven Boys Book 1, The Dream Thieves Book 2, and Blue Lily Lily Blue, which is Book 3. I unfortunately don't have the fourth book, which is The Raven King. Next I have The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, which consists of The Hunger Games Book 1, Catching Fire Book 2, and Mockingjay Book 3. Next I have The Selection by Kira Cass, which consists of 
of the selection which is book one the elite book two and the one book three okay next i have miss peregrine's home for peculiar children series by ransom riggs which consists of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, book one, book two, Hollow City, and book three, Library of Souls. Next, I have The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, and this is a collection of, of all the stories bound together. And lastly, I have the first two books in the Witchland series by Susan Dennard, which consists of Truth Witch, book one, and Wind Witch, book two. Okay, so moving on to the next shelf, I'm pretty much continuing on with my series. The first book I have is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff and this is book one in this series. Next I have The Diviners by Libba Bray and I only have the first book in this series. Next is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins and I also only have the first book in this series. Next I have The Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson which consists of Mistborn book one, The Well of Ascension book two, and The Hero of Ages book three. Next I have the first book in the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb and this is Assassin's Apprentice. And next over here, I have the Sky Chaser Trilogy by Amy Kathleen Ryan, which consists of book one, Glow, book two, Spark, and book three, Flame. And the reason I have these right here is because I haven't read them yet, so I have them last. It's so hard with mass paperback, it's so hard to make them look nice. So I, I wonder if it would look better if I moved these here and then I think I like that a little bit better. Okay, so starting over here, I have my standalones. Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. This is a collection of graphic novels. Next, I have Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. This is also another graphic novel. Next, I have Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Next, I have The Coldest Girl in Coal Town by Holly Black. Next, I have The Darkest Part of the Forest, also by Holly Black. Next, I have Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. Next, I have My True Love Gave to Me, which is a collection of 12 holiday short stories written by multiple young adult authors. And lastly, on the shelf, I have Hyperbole and a Hat by Ali Brosh. And moving to the last shelf, I have my Nora Roberts collection, and also I have some cutesy contemporary romance novels over here. So starting with my Nora Roberts collection, I have Black Hills, Angels Fall, Chasing Fire, The Witness, Hidden Riches, and these books right here that I just showed you, these were all standalones. Next, I have the first and the fourth book in the Chesapeake Bay Saga, which consists of book one, Sea Swept, and I have two copies of the Chesapeake Blue. Next, I have Savor the Moment, which I believe is book like three in the Bride Quartet, and then I have Charmed and Enchanted, this is a collection of two different stories and this is in the Donovan stories and this is actually like book three and four, I believe. Next, I have Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella. She Went All the Way by Meg Cabot. Every Boy's Got One by Meg Cabot. Size 14 Is Not Fat Either by Meg Cabot. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Destin. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And Everybody Rise by Stephanie Clifford. All right, everyone, well, that is it for my bookshelf tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love watching bookshelf tours. I know they're really long and tedious, but it's some of my favorite videos so I really hope you enjoy it and I will see you next time in another video bye